I'm gonna show what I picked up for New Comic Book Day, the 11th of October. And some books I picked up from Collectibles Unlimited in Clio, Michigan. Plus they're selling mystery boxes with a grand prize that's gonna be drawn on Halloween. So check it out. How you doing? Thanks for checking out my comics closet. I'm Lynn. I'm going to show some books that I got from New Comic Book Day, 11th of October, 2023 at Tommy's Corner. And I'm going to show some books I picked up at Collectibles Unlimited in Clio, Michigan. I picked up a couple of books and a mystery box that once they sell them all, they're going to do a drawing, which I believe is going to be on Halloween and give away a big prize. So I don't know what's in it, and it's a collectible store, so it's not all comics. Could be anything, really, that they have in that store. They have a lot of stuff. So we'll talk about that. First, I'd like to say, you know, can everybody please pray for Israel? It's crazy what's going on over there. Hopefully our country will step up and help them out. And also still continue to pray for Maui. I really haven't gotten any details on anybody else to donate to. But you can go to wirerealestate.org. All right. So I just wanted to show a couple of the shows that I'm interested in that are coming up here at locally, or at least somewhat locally in Michigan, which I've shown this before, which is the um, Toy and Comic Book Collectors Pop Culture Show, which is in Livonia, Michigan, November 26, 2023, from 8.30 in the morning till 2.30 in the afternoon, Hot Wheels, Funko Pop, Diecast Comics, Graded Comics, Bunch Boxes, G.I. Joes, and Action Figures, Games, and much more. Mission's three bucks, kids under 12 free at the Livonia Elks Hall. That's on Plymouth Road. Coming up. I don't have any other information on who's going to be there or anything. This is the um, Great Lake Comic Con which they do have usually a lot of guests at the Comic-Con, which is February 23rd and 24th, 2024. So to find any details, go to www.greatlakescomicconvention.com, which is going to be at the Macomb Expo Center in February. But they also have the um, Comic Expos, which is the upcoming um, Comic Expo dates. Well, there's one last weekend on December 9th. This is the next one coming up, located at the Trinity Lutheran Church on Harper Avenue, Clinton Township, Michigan. You want to go to greatlakesexpo.com for that. So be sure to check our website for the latest updates. There's a QR code. Count books, toys, fun for the entire family. And also there's the Dawn of the Collector's Show, which I like to go to it's every month. And I think it's coming next week, the 21st of October. And it's going to be it. The Church of the Risen Christ, I believe. I'll have to get something I'll show up there, but go to their Instagram page and you can look it up. It's a great little show, a lot of comics. There are also a lot of other collectibles. It's you know, Daughter of the Collectors, not just comics. So check that out. And there's also the Grand Rapids Comic Con coming up November 3rd through the 5th, 2023 at the DeVos Place in Grand Rapids, Michigan. At www. Do we have to say that still? Dot grcomiccon.com. They also have Grand Rapids Comic Con on Facebook, Grand Rapids Comic Con on Twitter, or X, I guess. Grand Rapids GR Comic Con on Instagram, and GR Comic Con on YouTube. There are a lot of guests coming. So check it out, look it up. And then there's also this one I have shown before. I don't think I've shown it the last couple of times. Funko Pop Toy Pokemon Collectible Show. The door prizes throughout the day. Showers are 10 to 4. Vision's only $3. October 28th is the next one. November 18th and December 30th. It's at the Royal Oaks, Royal Oak Elks Hall. So check it out. Should be fun. Let's get on to the show. 
So anyway, I'm going to show some of the stuff I bought right now from my local comic shop, Comics Corner, which is in Rochester Hills, kind of the store I go to. But there are two locations. They have another location in Fraser, Michigan, which is on Utica Road. And they have, they're the home of the 25% off Collector's Club. So you go in, you join up. I think it costs you 20 bucks the first time. Go to Comic Corner. And if you have books that need to be cleaned or pressed, check out Amp Comic Cleaner. He works through Comic Corner. I think you can drop books off in Fraser at the Fraser store. So anyway, let's show the books I got from Comic Corner. First, while I was, I grabbed these because they're sitting on the counter along with the flyers for the shows. There's DC Connect, which they're still showing the Titans Beast World story. And then, non Marvel title that I always get is The Walking Dead Deluxe. This is Walking Dead Deluxe number 73. Cool cover. And then another book I get that's not Marvel. Scorched, which is another image title. Todd McFarlane, you know, Spawn related title. This is Scorched 22. Okay, so now we're into the Marvel comics. This is the Avengers number six, which says there's Legacy, Legacy 772. Got Scarlet Witch, Captain Marvel, Thor on the cover. Then there's Wolverine, 38, Back in the Trenches, Captain America, it says. They have Silver Surfer, Rebirth, Legacy, number two. Pretty cool Silver Surfer, Adam Warlock cover. Let's see who does this? Looks like a Ron Lim cover. And then we have Moon Knight number four, City of the Dead. Guardians of the Galaxy seven. Looks like it's got the Hulkling and Looks like he's got a dead Star Lord over his shoulder. Turn him into the graveyard. This is Magneto number three. Which looks like Magneto's killing Magneto. Then I have Venom number 26, which looks like a Black Widow cover. Blowing the symbiote away. And then they have Amazing Spider-Man number 35, which is a John Romita Jr. Scott Hanna cover, which I put in a Mylar because, I don't know, I just, that's a cool cover, I think. It's a goblin, but he's got the Spider-Man suit on, it looks like. And then this is Superior Spider-Man Returned number one. Dan Slott, it says, Kevin Coley, Ramos, Bagley, Stegman, Meyer, Dell, Zura, and Delgado. So there must be a lot of artistry in here, which the original, I mean, Superior Spider-Man was, Spider-Man was taken over, you know, his body was taken over by Doc Ock. I don't know if that's what's going on with this one now. I haven't checked it out, but cool looking cover. It's like a whole lot of artists, but I get everything Spider-Man can't tell. And then they had this out that is the um, reprint, maybe the facsimile you call them. Daredevil 183, which is the first meeting of Daredevil and Punisher. And so that's the facsimile, but this is the original. 60 cent book at the time. And I don't know if I had this one clean and pressed yet. 
No, I don't think I have. It's got a couple of little bends in the spine, but it's really clean. So I'm going to probably get that graded. I do need to get it pressed and clean first. I picked this up, which is Captain Marvel Assault on Eden, plus an all-new Monica Rambeau story. Number one. Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel, and I got this one, Cap Wolf and the Howling Commandos, number one, I think I got one of these before, I don't think this is brand new, but I just, I have the original Cap Wolf storyline, and I'm a big werewolf fan from way back when I was a kid, big horror movie fan, but the Wolfman and the werewolf were always one of my favorites. So anyway, where we have now this, some of the number ones I picked up from the discerning reader. This is Scout Comics, Mom Breaks the Internet, number one. Sandin, Sandlin. Oh, Sandine, looks like S-A-N-D-I-I-N. Sandine, Mulholland, Augusto, Ellen, Andrea. Anyway, this is Mom Breaks the Internet. Kind of a weird looking cover. You know, independent books. I like to grab the ones that look interesting. You never know which ones might hit. And even if they don't hit, it could be interesting to me. I'm gonna like to read them when I get a lot of time. Then I got this Kill Your Darlings, number one, an image book. This is the second printing. I believe I do have Kill Your Darling number one. Parker, Sheridan, Quinn, and Hill, and I believe that the artist, or the writer, is a local guy. I know I saw a picture on Instagram of Dan from Comic Corner, the owner of Comic Corner, showing the guy in the store that does this book. So I'd like to meet him. And then this is called Midlife, or How to Hero at 50, number one. This is also a image book, Destiny Gate, right, number one, Top Cow image book. So, those are the books I picked up from Comics Corner. A new comic book day, October 11th, 2023. So let me get this stuff straightened around here a bit. Show you the books I got from Collectibles Unlimited, and then we'll open up this mystery box. So got to go through what I have up here. It's Spider-Man stuff. Because we love Spidey. Right, Brian? So if you like this kind of content, I'd appreciate it if you'd give me a thumbs up, you know, like, comment, I'd like to get some comments down below. What do you think about this stuff I got here? Stuff I'm going to show, stuff I've already shown. And subscribe. I'm looking for subscribers. I think I'm at 162 now. I've been there for a couple of weeks. I'm hoping to get, when I get to 250, do some kind of a giveaway. Speaking of Brian, I want to remind you to check out the Comic Book Community Awards. Go to cbcawards.org to vote for your favorite YouTuber. It's run by Brian LCS. He does a live stream every Saturday morning called Breakfast with Brian's. I believe it's at 10 o'clock. Usually about an hour long. They talk about comics and the community. Does a little giveaway. So go to cbcawards.org. Go for your favorite YouTuber. Oh, and I know I didn't mention the Motor City Comic Con when I was showing the shows coming up. But I'm going to do a video on that in the upcoming next couple weeks. So save the date for Motor City Comic Con. So I'm going to show these things. I picked up from Collectibles Unlimited in Clio, Michigan. They're doing a sale, kind of an event, on Friday the 13th. This last Friday I went there and I grabbed some books. Everything in the store was 20% off except for like collectible supplies and coins. But they, they have mystery boxes that you can buy that have, you know, different things from the store. It's a total collectible store, so there's a lot of stuff in there. Not all comics. 
and they're going to draw. And when you buy a mystery box, you get a raffle ticket with a number on it. And they're going to draw for this, like a big basket of goodies. Looks like a bunch of horror goodies that they're going to draw on an Halloween. So I went there, checked it out. But first I'm going to show the books that I bought when I was there. They have a big selection to go through. They have, you know, a big wall of slabs and, you know, just wall books, some ungraded wall books. And they have a lot of bins to dig through. They have, you know, they start at, they had new arrivals, which is where I got these. There was a guy putting in books in the new arrivals and we were talking and he heard and he said, I th he thought he saw a couple of silver surfers in there. So I went over there and checked those out. And they were these Silver Surfer, actually they're fantasy masterpiece. Reprints of the original Silver Surfer run, which this is number two. First appearance of the Badoon. I have that. I grabbed that up because it's in really nice shape. And that's, what was that, $5, I believe? Yeah. From 1980, I paid $5 for that one. And then this is Fantasy Masterpieces 12, Silver Surfer, which is the Abomination cover, which is also from 1980. I paid $3 for that. Then I also got these Agent Spider-Man. I'm gonna show this one first. Highest number first, right? So I got this Amazing Spider-Man 228. 60 cent book. I don't remember what year this was. From 1982. Beautiful yellow cover. You know. I paid 10 bucks for that. It's in really good shape. And then I got this Amazing Spider Man number 185 for $5 with 20% off. And this is Peter Parker's graduation. Not a yellow cover. But it said this is a 1978 book, which is the year I graduated. So with that and the yellow cover, I picked that up. And then this is actually the best one I got there that day. From 1975, it's a John Romita classic cover. Amazing Spider-Man 151 from 1975. And so buying those Spider-Man books prompted me to get out a bunch of my Spider-Man stuff. These are some of my best Spider-Man books, mostly raw. Well, I have Spider-Man 10 down there. And a 3-0. And then there's one well, of my earliest is what, right? There is Spider-Man 21 after that, ungraded. And then Spider-Man 22, which has got writing and very beat up. I think I paid about 40 bucks for that. And this is Spider-Man 23, which is a goblin and the gangsters. And I paid 40 bucks for that. If you look, this corner box has been cut out and I copied a Spider-Man and put it on it. And then a little corner, a little square has been cut out right there. The month under the 23, which I don't know why anybody would do that, but we were kids at the time. And then I have this Amazing Spider Man 30, which is the Claws of the Cat, but it's not Black Cat, I believe it's the Cat Burglar, which was this one of these is Fox, Silver Fox, or something. And then this is Spider Man 35, which is the second appearance of the Molten Man, Spider Man 49, which is just a great cover of the Vulture and Craven, Spider-Man 51, which is a great Kingpin cover, which I think 50 was the first King Kingpin, right? And then Spider-Man 73, which is just a nice Romita cover with Man Mountain Marco. Spider-Man 89, which is a Doc Ock cover, just a classic yellow Doc Ock cover. Spider-Man 90, which is the death of Captain Stacy, Gwen Stacy's dad, 
And this is Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 92, when Iceman attacks. She's got Gwen right there. I think that this time he's still being blamed for killing Captain Stacy. We all know it was Doc Ock. And then this is Amazing Spider-Man 96, which is what they call the drug issue. Doesn't have a code. Didn't have the comic code. And then this is Amazing Spider-Man 99. Just kind of a cool cover. Pretty low grade. Got like water staining. And then I have this Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man number one in a 9-2, which is just a pretty awesome book. I also have a raw copy of it, which has some kind of coloring on top. I don't know if that's ink or what that is, a marker, or if it'll come off. I haven't messed with it. It's in pretty good shape. Besides that, possible defects. I don't really see a whole lot of color breaking. I don't know if that's going to stay. All right. What else do I have, Spider-Man? Everything. <laughs> so, all right. Now I'm going to open up this mystery box that I got from Collectibles Unlimited in Clio, Michigan. It was a $25 mystery box. I think they're going to sell 50 of them. On Friday the 13th, like I said, they had a, an event where they were having 20% off almost everything in the store. And they were selling these mystery boxes. They had a couple of local horror film producers in store. And a lot of cool stuff in that place. So get up to Collectibles Unlimited in Clio, Michigan. I keep wanting to call them Clio Collectibles, but it's Collectibles Unlimited in Clio, Michigan. I'll put this card up and you buy this mystery box you get a raffle ticket you know, with a number on it you put your name and your number on the other ticket and give it to them and on October 31st they're gonna draw one of these tickets and give away the, the grand prize which I got a quick picture of it I don't really have details of what's in it sitting right there if you go to the store Looks like mostly a bunch of horror stuff, which it is a Halloween drawing, so. And it was a Friday the 13th special, so. There's a lot of stuff in here. First thing it looks like are. Let's see. Socks. Are. What is it? Oh, Pennywise. So, socks from it, the Stephen King. Pennywise socks, which are kind of cool for Halloween. I actually have Deadpool socks on right now. So, I do wear weird socks. Then there is. Stranger Things Funko Pop 11. Funko Pop 1238, 1238. I don't really collect. I have a few Funko Pops. I have a Spider Man, like, art based one or something. But this is from the Pop Television series Stranger Things 1238, 11. But I also have this that I do know something about is a Chucky, the final figure, Child's Play. This is from Culture Fly Collectibles. Oh, but it's not Chucky, it's, um, oh, what was her name? I do not remember. They don't have the character's name on here. Kind of crazy. But anyways, the Bride of Chucky, right? A couple of decent little figures there. And I got lucky and got this 
Constantine, the Hellblazer, number four. So I'm gonna have to get that in a bag and a board. That's all of that. So they said that the boxes would have between $30 to $40 worth of retail value. And you pay $25 for it. So, but I'm sure it's worth $25 retail. Because then you get the raffle ticket to get into their drawing. And um, don't forget, I also bought the, what is it? The amazing, incredible, fantastic prize box of mystery. And they're all sold out. They've been sold out for a couple weeks. I think they're in the process of being shipped. So hopefully we'll know by Halloween if I won the grand prize there, which is an 8 of 15 and a 1.8 universal grade, which is worth fair market value of approximately $20,000. Plus an incredible Hulk 1, which I think is graded at 3.0, which puts it pretty much the same value. And there's a Fantastic Four 1. I don't remember. They had all the prices. I believe I showed them before. You can go to um, Rise Comics videos. He'll show you. He has a whole video showing all the prizes, all about the mystery boxes. You know, they're all sold out. So, that's everything I have here for my comics closet. Appreciate it if you'd keep coming back. We take comics and comic collecting right out of the closet. Thank you.